what's going on everyone and welcome to part 2 of tutorial series on amazon api gateway tutorial in the previous tutorial we have created the api using api gateway and now in this tutorial i'm going to take you through on how to create resource and method and post creating the method we will bind it with the lambda function so before starting with the implementation uh, i would like to request you that if you have not yet subscribed to my channel then please hit the red button below and click on bell icon to stay up to date thank you so much so let's get started i'm assuming that you already have logged in into aws management console so ideally we will start with creating the iam role for lambda function followed by the creation of the lambda function later we will create the resources for the api that we have created in the previous tutorial and finally we will create the method for the said resource so let's get started so as i said First, we are going to create the IAM role. So navigate to IAM management console. So once you are here, click on roles from the left panel and click on create role. Now here select Lambda as a service because we are creating this role for the Lambda function. Then click on next permission. So here um, all we need uh, is the access to CloudWatch logs. So you can assign the permission policy that is Lambda execute that is AWS Lambda execute and click on next tags. I will say name Then next review, give the role name. And click on create role. Now once the role is created, navigate to Lambda Management Console. So why we are creating this Lambda function is because uh, we are going to bind this Lambda function with the API gateway, right? So that's the reason we are creating this Lambda function. So once you are here, click on create function. Now fill in the configuration that is function name. I will say API gateway tutorial i will select runtime as python 3.7 within permissions select use existing role and select the role that you have just created so that is lambda api gateway role in my case and click on create function Now the function has been created successfully. Now the next step is to create the resource. So for that you have to navigate to API management console. That is ideally API gateway. Now once you are here within the API gateway, click on the API endpoint that uh, you have created in the previous tutorial. So in my case, I have created this API endpoint in the previous tutorial. So I'm going to click this API. Now here within the resource, uh, we are going to create a new resource. So what exactly resources is. So I will give you an example. So for example, I have this website or I have this domain, I will say that is www.lambda.api.com 
that is www.thetechnologyupdates.com right then i will say slash version 1 api for example i'm just taking an example right then slash i want to post something so for example i want to post an id so i will say or maybe a json right so i will say post underscore json right now this post underscore json is the resource over here right so that is something or that is what we are going to create right now right so let's jump back to api gateway so click on actions so first of all you need to click on resources from the left panel then click on actions and click on create resource so i will simply name it as post method probably or i will say post underscore json itself right so it's it's so right it says resource path as slash post hyphen json then click on create resource so now the resource has been created that is it's not underscore it's hyphen that is post hyphen json right so this resource has been created so what is version one here we will come to that part later right so let's get back to api gateway now resource has been created now uh, we want to post something right so now here we want to create a method So for example, if you want to retrieve data uh, from backend, then you can define get method. But here I want to post some data uh, to the backend service or wherever in the backend, right? So I want to create a post method. In case if you want to delete something, then you can create a delete method, right? So what you have to do is you have to select the resource that you have just created, then click on actions and say create method now here you will get list of methods that is any delete get head options patch post put right but here i want to create a post method so like this you can create any method like for example get right so i will select post and click on this tick mark and it will create the method for us now what it is asking for is to bind a lambda function or bind any backend that will ideally process the request coming from the client right so here uh, within the integration type we have multiple option available that is lambda function so what it says is integrate with a lambda function then we have http integrate with an existing http endpoint so in case uh, if we have an existing endpoint and we want to call that endpoint via this endpoint, right? So we want to call that URL or hit that URL via the URL that we are just creating, right? So you can select HTTP. Then we have mock. So it says return a response purely using API gateway mappings and transformation. Then we have AWS services. So integrate with any AWS services. Then you can select this then vpc link integrate with a vpc link right so here are the uh, multiple option available that you can select from but here i am going to select lambda function since i want to bind this api endpoint or api gateway with a given lambda function right so i will select lambda function so here uh, there is an another option saying use lambda proxy integration so it says request will be proxied to lambda with request details available in the event of your handler function. So uh, if we check this, then uh, what will happen is when the client will send a request or hit the API endpoint, uh, the metadata details will be sent over or you can access that metadata details uh, within the event within your Lambda function, right? So uh, we will also have a look at the proxy integration too at later point of time. Right, so, so ideally binding a, a simple lambda function, it's kind of legacy method that is available. Using proxy integration is kind of uh, 
advanced method i will say upgraded method that is available uh, by amazon api gateway right so we will come to the proxy integration part later so right now i will leave this as unchecked now lambda region so it's asking for in which region your lambda function is so it's us h1 in my case then select the lambda function name from here so it's api gateway tutorial in my case now then we have used default timeout so what does it says default timeout to method request is 29000 milliseconds so we will leave it as it is and now click on save so now it it is asking to add permission to lambda function so what it will do is if i click okay uh, then api gateway will get the permission to invoke this lambda function right so we have to give this permission in order to invoke the lambda function when anyone or any client hit the url or endpoint or the api endpoint right so click on ok and now it's saving so here we have successfully bind the lambda function with our post method within post hyphen json resource right so what you are seeing on my screen is so it's it's the flow right so here is our client right so for example i am uh, hitting an endpoint using postman so in my case uh, the client is postman right so what will happen is whenever i i will hit that url endpoint it will go to method request right so within method request it will check for for example authorization right so right now we don't have any authorization defined so auth is defined as none right so after that the request is being forwarded to integration request so here integration request is our lambda function so it will go to the lambda function right so what we have in integration request is this settings that we have uh, configured after creating the post method now uh, if you see then we have other option that is url path parameters url query string parameters http headers mapping templates right so um, I will do a separate tutorial for this uh, depending on the use case right so right now uh, we are not uh, touching it we are leaving it as it is right so now uh, from integration request the lambda api gateway tutorial right this is the lambda function that we have created will be invoked right and from here it and from here it will return some response over here that is integration response so what we have in integration response is so right now all we have is method response 200 code right so in case uh, if you want to return custom code like for example 500 or 404 not found right then uh, you have to configure all those uh, method response status within integration response so again i am going to do a separate tutorial on how to uh, return custom http status code uh, using api gateway right so we will we are going to come back here later now then uh, from integration response it goes to method response right so so if you have noticed then within integration response 200 code is defined right so here it says http status is 200 then uh, what what kind of response it will return is application json right so so it's a model right so if i click on method response then we have only uh, http status 200 code defined so as i said if you want to define custom code then uh, you again need to define those 404 or 500 code over here right so we will come back later over here right and from method response it will return the response back to the client that is postman right so the response that you see uh, on your postman uh, will be returned from here right so this is the whole cycle that how api gateway works and how the uh, lambda function gets invoked uh, when any client uh, hit the endpoint right so this is the overall flow so in this tutorial what we have learned is uh, how we can create resources and i explained you uh, what exactly resources right 
then how we can create a method within that resource right so so right now we have created the post method within this resource right so you can also create another method saying get right so all you need to do is select this uh, resource and click on actions and say create method and you will be able to create another method like get delete put right so that's how you can create multiple methods within one resource itself so guys uh, that's it for this tutorial right uh, but you might have a question that uh, where is the url of this api endpoint how we can invoke this api endpoint right so to get the url or the domain to hit the api endpoint we have to deploy this api first then we will get the endpoint url so that is something we are going to cover in the next tutorial right so ideally uh, we will deploy this api endpoint and i will show you how we can hit this endpoint so that's it for now if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time